Pencils. You've used them since you were a little child, but do you know how they're made? If you don't, here's how. We start with planks of wood, which will eventually become either the top or the bottom half of the pencil. Each plank will make approximately 10 pencils. Grooves that will hold the lead are milled into the planks. The grooves are then filled with a slightly elastic glue to prevent the lead from breaking within the channel. The process then goes on to the lead placement stage. The lead is made of a graphite and clay mixture that's baked in an oven at more than 800 degrees Celsius. Glue is then applied to the plank that will be the top half of the pencil, which is then placed on the bottom plank that contains the lead. Pressure is applied to the planks of wood to assist the accuracy of the glue drying process. The wooden planks are then milled into hexagonal shapes and are then separated into individual pencils. A sample pencil is then prepared for a strength test. To evaluate the strength of the pencils within each batch, pressure is applied to the tip of the sample pencil at an angle until it reaches its ultimate compressive strength. Yellow liqueur is applied to each pencil as a base paint. A total of four coats of yellow are applied to ensure sufficient coverage over the wood grain. Depending on the company, additional colors may be added. This particular pencil features a black stripe. The final coat is a clear coat to seal in all the colors. The next step involves a stamping process. A machine heat transfers foil lettering from a plastic film onto the painted wood. Finally, the end caps are placed. The end of each pencil is squeezed in order to place the aluminum ferrule. With the aluminum attached, the rubber eraser is inserted. 